If you own a 1988 to 1995 Mercedes-Benz, I think you'll find this video helpful, particularly if you've not seen this before. This is an OBD1 scanner or tester. Now, these cars do not have a way to plug in an OBD2 scanner. So if you have a check engine light, come on, just like in this 560SL, you can see the check engine light is on and you're gonna be scratching your head saying, well, how do I find out what's wrong? Well, there is a way to do it with this tool right here. Basically in the 88 to 95, before they came out with OBD2 in 1996. And this is what you're going to need to do this. You're going to need this right here, either an eight pin or a 16 pin socket. This is an eight pin. You can see the numbering right there. So if you have an eight pin or a 16 pin socket that you can plug into, then this tool here is gonna help you find out what's wrong with your engine. Now this tool is available on eBay. I'm gonna put a link below. I highly recommend it. I've been using this for over 15 years. Comes with really good instructions on how to hook it up. You're gonna need the computer to do a little research on getting more information on the code that you pull out that's your fault code. We're gonna get this hooked up now. Then I'm gonna come back and together we're gonna to try to figure out why the check engine light is on in this 560SL. I should mention that this tester will also work for a 38 soccer connector that looks like this. This was used on these models here up to the late 1990s. And there was kind of an overlap between this socket connector and the OBD2 connector. So if you see one of these on your car, this tester may also be very helpful. Using the instructions that came with the unit, I've got hooked up. You can see I had to get the red wire over to the positive bus over there to get power. And the light's on. And the next step was to go in the car, turn on the ignition. Now we're going to check for any error codes. So I'm gonna hold the button down for three seconds and then release it. And we're going to count the number of flashes. Okay, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we got nine flashes. Now we're back to a solid white light. Maybe there's more than one code. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the button down again for three seconds. And let's see if we get another flash. Okay, solid light, meaning no more code. So we've got one error code, nine flashes. So now you're asking Kent, what do I do next? Uh, well, I've got nine flashes here, but there's no specific information in the instructions on what the nine flashes really mean. Well, this is where the internet comes in. Google can be real handy as well as the website that's spelled out on the instructions. So I'm gonna take a moment, I'm gonna get over to the computer and we're gonna find out what these nine flashes mean. So after doing a research, I found out that this diagnostic trouble code is related to this EHA valve. And it's actually telling me there's something wrong with the current at the EHA valve. And I'm looking down here and I'm going, what? It's not plugged in. <laughs> Could this be as easy a fix as I am thinking? Let's plug it in, clear the codes and see what happens. Just a word of warning here. If you're trying to read the flash code and nothing's happening, make sure the ignition key is on, on the on position. Okay, now we're gonna do it again. We're gonna read the code, hold down for three seconds, release, and it should go through nine again. Okay, when it stops flashing, and turn solid white, we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Okay, release. So now to make sure we cleared the code, we have to cycle the ignition, turn the ignition off, turn the ignition back on, and let's go through the procedure again. We're gonna hold for three seconds. 
release. One flash. That tells us the code has been cleared. If you own one of these KE Jetronic fuel injected Mercedes, you know, this little baby right here is a common cause of trouble with the engine. Now, some of you are laughing and saying, well, why was that unplugged? Well, I have to admit, I unplugged it <laughs> because I had to have some way to show a check engine light so I could show you how this tool works. But if this were a problem with the EHA valve and you clear the code, and you go out and drive it and the code comes back, well, then you've got to deal with this. And that's not the purpose of this video. I just wanted you to see how to use this cool little tool to diagnose the trouble codes in your 88 to 95 Mercedes. So in keeping with tradition, I'm not going to thank you for watching. You should thank me for watching.